Okay, guys, here we go. This is your introduction to logarithms, which we all know I can't spell. That's why we have introduction to logs here. So we're going to start with an exponential function, y equals 10 to the x. Now we know what the graph of this is going to look like. We have an asymptote along the x-axis, and we can create a few points that we know are sitting on the graph. We'll have the point 0, 1. We would have the point 1, 10, and the point, let's say, 2, 100. The b value is 10, so we know it's a growth function, and this is what y equals 10 to the x looks like. Now, we're going to create the inverse of this function. Okay, so we're going to create the inverse of this graph. And we know how to create the inverse by reflecting across the line y equals x. So here's the line y equals x. And let's think about how we do this. If we have a horizontal asymptote on our original function, that will translate to a vertical line, vertical line asymptote on our inverse. And we also know that we can switch the x's and the y's. So if we had the point 0, 1 on our original function, we will have the point 1, 0 on the inverse. The point 1, 10 will become the point 10, 1. And the point 2, 100 will become the point 100, 2. And if we sketch our graph, our inverse will look like this. And we can see that we have an agreement. The domain of 10 to the x was all real numbers, and the range was y greater than 0. And on our inverse, the domain is now x greater than 0, and the range will be all real numbers. The equation of this inverse that we've created is the log function. And it would have the equation y equals log base 10 of x. Let's compare these two graphs. Again, our exponential function is showing growth. It's showing rapid growth. If we look at the inverse we've created, this log function, we still have growth, but you can see that the growth is happening much, much slower than in the exponential function. OK, so we have this function, y equals the log base 10 of x. Now, a log with a base of 10 is called the common log. And because it's so common, we generally don't write this base of 10 in. So what we'll really see is just y equals the log of x, and it's understood to be base 10. Now, since the log is the inverse of the exponential, there's a relationship between a log expression and an exponential expression. And here's the definition of how we move back and forth. If we have the log base 10 of x, that will equal some value of k if and only if 10 to the k is equal to x. And this is a very important definition. And let's do a couple of examples so we can see how we move back and forth. So if we have the log base 10 of 1 is equal to k, we can rewrite that in an exponential form as 10 to the k is equal to 1. And that's an exponential equation we can solve. We know that k is equal to 0. So the log base 10 of 1 is actually equal to 0. If we had the log base 10 of 100, that's equal to some number. If we follow the definition and rewrite it as an exponential expression, that says 10 to the k is equal to 100. And so we know that k is equal to 2. And so we know that the log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2. Now we can take this log definition and we can do it with bases other than 10. So we can say that the log base b of x is equal to k if and only if b to the k is equal to x. Very important definition. And we can use it to evaluate logs. So we could say 
the log base 3 of 9 is equal to something. Rewriting it according to the definition says 3 to the k is equal to 9. Solving that exponential equation, we know that k is equal to 2. So we know that the log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2. We could do it with a base of 2. The log base 2 of 32 is equal to some number. Rewriting it as an exponential expression, this says 2 to the k is equal to 32. So we know that k is equal to 5. And so we know that the log base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. One more example. We could say the log base 4 of 64 is equal to k. Rewriting as an exponential expression, this says 4 to the k is equal to 64. So we know that k is equal to 4. So we know that the log base 4 of 64 is equal to 4. Note that this k value is the solution to evaluating a log expression. And so we can say that k, this solution to a log expression, is the exponent, the base is raised to, to equal the amount of the argument, the amount of the log argument. So a lot of times you'll hear people say that a log is simply an exponent. Now, you're going to watch this video as many times as you want, and you're going to try some examples out of the textbook converting back and forth between exponential expressions and log expressions. Have fun.